Hi, this is Mark Hooper, and I have a quick tip that will begin to help you understand the power of sliders in Storyline 2. This is one of my favorite features of the application for engaging your learner, and this quick tip is going to cover some of the basics to get you started. I have a blank slide that's ready for me to add a slider. So from the Insert menu, I'll look under the Controls menu and select a slider, and then click and drag to add it to my slide. I'm going to make it fairly wide for this demonstration. Now I can see I have two slider tool options added to the top menu. I'm going to start with the second option of format to choose the thumb size and the slider style. Then I can adjust the size of the track and the thumb using the yellow squares on the object. Very easy to design. Next, I'm going to go to the Design tab. The slider properties are going to be my primary focus here. First, as soon as you create a slider in Storyline, it creates a variable for you. And if you want to change the default name, then it's as simple as typing the new name you want in the field provided. The variable that's created uses numbers, and you have the ability to set the range using the start and end values. I'm going to leave them at the default of 0 to 10 for now. Initial is the value that I want the slider thumb to be positioned in to start. I'm going to choose a value of 5 to put it in the center. Because I have a range of 0 to 10, that gives me a total of 11 values if I leave my steps at 1. More on this in a moment. Before I preview, let me set the update value to adjust as the slider is dragged as opposed to when the user releases the mouse. I'm going to quickly add a reference here in the title to the variable that we've created so that we can see the values change during preview. Now when I preview the slide, you'll see the options in the action. It starts at 5 in the center. I can drag the slider left and right to change the values. I'm going to close the preview and make another change to make the slider move a little smoother. I'm going to change the step value down to 0 0.01 and then preview again. You see how the slider is smooth and the variable is changing in smaller steps? Understanding these options are going to help you to unleash your creativity. I'll explore some creative ideas with sliders and more upcoming quick tips. For more information, visit us online.